What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about high wind rigging up tips. We spent almost two weeks in Brazil and I've learned a lot about just little things that I never had to deal with until I came to somewhere that was super duper windy and hopefully these tips will help you out. So let's jump into the videos, views. One, three, five, go! Oh, coming from the wild, wild west indies. Okay guys, so let's talk about rigging up in high wind. Basically, we've been here in Brazil for nearly two weeks, hanging out with the heli crew, exploring the Priya area of Brazil, and we've got up to a lot of nuclear sessions. So yeah, basically, there are a few things you need to know about setting up in high wind. Basically, it's very similar to setting up uh, in normal conditions, but a few things change. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you set your kite up first, and when you take your kite out onto the beach, take your board with you so you can have something to weigh your kite down because we've had some days that without sand or without your board holding down your kite, your kite may end up tumbling down the beach. And the reason you wanna set your kite up first is because if you were to set your lines up first, like walk them out, lay them out, leave them on the beach, basically by the time you run back and get your kite, your lines will be completely tangled up and blown all over the place because the wind is just so nuclear. So if you do do it that way, you can put some sand on top of your lines just to hold them in place, but really it's much better to just take your kite out first lay your board on it, then run your lines up and attach them pretty much right away. And then the next thing you wanna do is actually walk your lines parallel to the kite. So either to the left or either to the right of the kite versus straight downwind, which is how most people usually set them up, myself included. And the reason you wanna go parallel is because when it's super duper windy, walking straight into the wind actually creates a lot of friction on the lines and kind of makes them not wanna untangle very nicely. Whereas if you go to the right or go to the left, so you're kind of walking across the wind, it kind of just helps you unwrap your lines a lot easier than walking directly into the wind. And another little tip for rigging up, which is something you should use whether it's super windy or just on a normal day, is when you unwrap your lines, make sure you drag your lines kind of past your kite for a little ways. So give yourself like five, six, seven, eight feet of space from your lines to the kite. That way when you walk your lines out, if you drag your bar a little bit, it's okay because you won't end up overtaking your kite. And that's something you should pretty much always do, whether you're setting up a nuclear wind or just on a normal day. And the last tip is, when you go to launch, there's two things you need to do. You should always crank down a little bit of D-power because launching and landing, that's kind of when most accidents can happen in kiteboarding. And when it's super duper windy, kiteboarding switches to a very extreme, fast happening sport. So you wanna make sure you're ready, make sure you depower your kite a little bit so you have, you know, a little bit of time to be in control of your kite and get it up without you know getting dragged down the beach and also when you're launching it's good to have a friend hang on to your harness kind of just be there with you especially if you're like a smaller lighter rider it's good just to have someone there just in case you're overpowered and you rig too big of a kite And yeah, that pretty much sums up all the tips that I have learned uh, from setting up over and over, riding an eight meter every single day in like nearly 30 knots of wind. So this is something that will hopefully be super useful if you're going to a place like Brazil or Cape Town or somewhere where the wind is super duper nuclear. It'll kind of just help the process of setting up be a little bit simpler and be like how it is at your home spot where it may not be super duper windy. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Big thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, feel free to drop a comment down below saying thanks, saying what's up, saying where you had your last session. And also if you wanna find out more about what we got up to in Brazil, you can click right up here or check out the description. There'll be some more stuff about heli and more stuff about awesome Brazil trips. And that's pretty much it, Bruce. Big thanks for tuning in and see you guys soon in another video. Peace, love, and big ups.